hopefully you can see all of this pretty well. It looks so small, but I've been saving all of the makeup I used in 2019, and this is it. This is everything I've used. It's pretty uninspiring, to be honest. Um, I was hoping for more. Now, let's not be entirely negative. There are some good positives here that I am very proud of. Um, so we'll talk about some things here. So I do have a number of eyebrow products here. I have three pencils um, and two um, sort of mascara, eyebrow mascaras or eyebrow gels. And for me, going through eyebrow products are pretty easily easy. I am a little sad. This one's the Anastasia one and I haven't repurchased that one because I still have other ones to go through. You'll see a number of mascaras here. So what do we have here? Uh, let's move this one to the other side because it's a mini. So five full size and four minis. And you'll see most of these are the Essence ones. Um, they're obviously from the Essence video I did in 2018 and I realized I need to just use these uh, mascaras up. You're definitely going to see more in 2020. I have way too many mascaras open right now. I definitely use mascaras longer than what they say, like longer than the three months. I will use a mascara until I feel like it is just not performing like it used to. So I will use it until it's like dead, um, which some will go for like eight to ten months. Um, I feel like most average around six to eight months. So yeah, that's a lot of mascara for me. Also, the minis don't last as long, so the minis definitely only last about three months. This is the MAC Fix Plus um, Prep and Prime. I still have debated. I've only ever used this mini and I really love it, so I've debated. Do I just buy the full size? I think why I didn't like it was I didn't like the spray on this little guy. I found it wasn't very good couple of things you're going to recognize from my project pan here. So this is the powder that I use, the CoverGirl Loose Powder. I am very happy that this is done and out of my life. Also very happy that the Benefit What's Up is done and out of my life. And this is the Tarte Muse Cheek uh, Stain. So I used one highlighter and one blush. So that's pretty good. And one bronzer. So this is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. Um, again, all are, this might be full size, but the other two are, two are minis. These are all my eyeliners from actually 2018, from my 2018 project pan. So yay, <laughs> finally finished all of those, which I'm happy about. I'm really happy about this. Um, could I be happier? Sure, <laughs> but I am really happy about this. I've really focused on trying to finish up some lip products, particularly lip balms. And I know these are a lot of minis. There's only one full size here, but even just getting through minis, uh, I'm super happy. This one's pretty funny. Um, it was done. I couldn't really sharpen it anymore, but I went to use it and yeah, it's stuck. It's stuck up in there. I don't know what happened. So there's that. And then I'm also pretty happy about this. I finished um, three full-size primers. And this is also a primer as well, but I kind of used it as a foundation. And I finished up an eyeshadow primer. So I did a video in 2018 and I pretty much opened this in 2018. So that goes to show me that it takes me about two years <laughs> to use a full-size eyeshadow primer um, for the most part, almost two years. I have about four eyeshadow primers in my stash right now. So that means I have primer for like the next eight years. So I think I'm good. I don't think I need to buy any new eyeshadow primer anytime soon. Um, I do have one little um, fragrance thing. Um, I didn't really focus on the fragrances this year. I didn't have a whole lot and I've acquired a whole bunch again. So that might be another project for 2019. I did use up quite a number in 2018. So yeah, this is, this is everything I finished. I'm somewhat disappointed, to be honest. I thought I could have finished up more items. This goes to show for me, I am very light-handed with my makeup. I don't go through it very quickly. Um, I do like variety. I find it really difficult to just use one product and use one product only. Like this primer, I used every day for months and months and months, and I was so sick of it, but I was like, I'm going to get you done and out of my life. Um, I don't really like it. It's okay. Um, it's somewhat blurring. It's not as good as the Benefit Professional in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I think for me it's really hard to finish products because I like the variety of all my products. I'm not one to just sequentially use items. 
I also just wanted to talk about a few products here that I am decluttering. There may have been more, I feel like, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Um, these are definitely makeup declutters in my mind. Um, these eyeliners um, are not technically finished, but they need to go. This one is like completely dried out. These just aren't functioning the same. The I think the Epic Ink Liner, I think something happened to the brush tip because it just is like leaking everywhere. Um, so like I know there's still ink left in these. They're just not performing uh, like they used to. These two brow products are just completely dried up um, and I can't use them. So, and this one, um, the Cabral, it smells weird. <laughs> This is the Essence uh, Brow Pencil. This is one of the ones that I'm like super sad about. But like all of these pencil products right here are just dry like the Sahara Desert. They just don't work. Um, this one's not as dry, but I just don't like it. Um, I put this in that summer project pan and I just decided, you know what? There really is no point in hanging on to this. I probably paid like $2 for this at some point. Um, it's just not worth hanging on to. And then these are things that I'm just you know, done with. The two of these things are for my project pan. Um, I used most of this. This almost made it into the empties. And this I hate. I hate this so much. I mean, there's so many people that like this. There's something about this Fab Ultra Lip Therapy. It's like gritty. I don't know why it's like that, but I feel like a gritty texture to it. And I don't know, maybe mine was bad. I got this in a kit um, in 2018 and I just, I tried to use a fair amount of it. I probably used about half and I was like, no more. Why am I torturing myself? I do want to talk about two products here because they're almost done. So they'll be like my first empties for 2020, but I just wanted to share them because I'm so proud that they're almost done. This is another mini Buxom lip gloss in Sugar Sugar. You can probably see there that there's not a whole lot. Well, maybe not. That's just like, it's probably somewhere near the bottom where the brush almost finished or the brush almost doesn't reach. And then this is another one of those Sugar lip balms. You can see that it's almost done. I thought these two would have made it in for 2019, but not quite, so. So quickly, I just want to go through my final empties for December. And these are all, I think my last empties was end of November, so this is all that I finished up over the last month. And not too bad, I'm proud of a couple of things. I'm really proud. This is like the first conditioner in years that I finished, like proper conditioner, full size. And I finished a shampoo as well. Um, this is obviously for blonde hair, and if you've seen me in a video, I don't have blonde hair anymore. So, and I'm not planning on having blonde hair at least within the next six months or so. That could change, but I just wanted to finish this. Um, it's fine, but I probably won't repurchase it. Who knows? You never know. This I'm really sad about. This is the Clean Bee Pharmacy. I really enjoyed this, so I am sad that this is empty. I couldn't find this, and then I found it. Um, it was, it had, for some reason, was in behind the box. I had not put it in the box of empties, so my project pan is probably going to be up before this. So this was missing in my project pan. I couldn't find it, but here it is. And yeah, it's done. Um, this was like a hair primer. I don't really remember it. Ergo, it was fine, but nothing momental, uh, monumental. This is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. This was obviously from the birthday thing, um, because I think a lot of people got this. I didn't care for it. It was fine. Um, I liked it better than the cleanser, but for the price, I wouldn't buy this. I don't think it's worth it. Um, this is something I'm happy to be finished with as well, because this had SPF in it, so I really needed to get through it. It's just a facial lotion, but it has SPF in it. I didn't really care for the texture of this too much, so I probably wouldn't repurchase this. I kind of want to look into some other um, facial moisturizers that have SPF in it. I think Aveeno has one, and I might be interested in that. This is the Kojendo Cleansing Spa Water uh, Cleanser Towel Thingies. What do you call them? Face wipes. Um, these were really nice. I would never pay for them. I bet you they're... I haven't looked up how much they cost, but I bet you they cost a pretty penny. The cloth was super thick. They felt luxurious. I ended up cutting them in half because they were like, again, the cloth was really thick. They were very saturated. That one cloth, I could wash like my entire body with one cloth. So I ended up cutting them in half and using them that way. This little Olay sample, I got this in the mail. I want to say it was something from Top Box. Like you could sign up to get a sample. This was probably the most uninspiring sample. Uh, one of the most uninspiring samples I've ever had. I used it twice, but I really could have just used it once. Um, there was that little product in it. It was 
fine, but again, with one usage essentially, it's not enough for me to, to convince me to go out and purchase it. Um, this was a little moisturizing body wash. I really enjoyed this. I'm gonna keep this bottle because it's a nice size bottle for like shampoo, conditioner, or body wash. This is a Way hair care treatment mask. I really like these. They come in like a set of like five or six, maybe seven. And I might have one or two left, but this is one of my favorite products. Um, when my hair was really, really blonde and I found it was really, really dry, this is one of the products that help um, revive it. Oh, this is upside down. This is the Glam Glow, what do they call this? It's in the shade Nude Glow, Glow Starter Illuminating Moisturizer. It was fine. Um, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. Uh, I probably wouldn't buy it though. And then this is just one of the, I like to include these. Just want a little pocket bag from Bath and Body Works. This is the crisp morning air. I like this one at work because it doesn't really have a scent. It's not a very strong scent, so it's, it's nice to use in the office. And the last product here that I didn't talk about, it says Baby Life brand, and I, I don't have any babies, if you know me, um, but this is the Vapor Bath, and I like this for myself. When I'm not feeling well, if I'm really stuffed up, this is like having a bath with Vicks, which sounds super gross, but if you really like Vicks, then you'll love this. Um, it just definitely helps um, can clear the congested, you know, passages. Um, it may not clear it completely. It doesn't like, it's not like Vicks where it's super powered, but it's just nice. It's just, it makes you feel nice to have this nice eucalyptus, um, menthol type smell. So I really like this. I would purchase, um, I think Johnson and Johnson does this as well. I think there's a few other brands that do this, but yeah, I would definitely, definitely consider repurchasing this in the future if I was sick and really wanted to have uh, a nice warm bath with this, this product. So that's it. That's my empties for 2019 and all the makeup I used and all the makeup that I am decluttering. I hope you liked this video. If you did, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. I don't know which is up. Which is up? I guess this way is the thumbs up. And I would love it if you did subscribe to my tiny little channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you have a fabulous day and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.